Welcome back, everyone. We're ready to get going again as this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports continues. Players are topped off with Gatorade, hydrated, and ready to get going again as well. Talk about great numbers for Thomas. He has 20 points, and his huge assist tally makes it all the more impressive. You know what? He's the catalyst. He's the reason why this team plays with such harmony. And if his passing continues, they are going to be done. Our second half of basketball, and presented by Gatorade. Up to use all field up and on the floor to start the third. On the court right now for the Hawks. He'll have the power for the Portford and center. The Cobra out there with Kyle Corvin. And it's Cephalosha in at the small forward spot. The Zelics have shot just one free throw early. One for one in the game. On the free throw, no good. The Celtics really seemed to get better as last season wore on to GA finished the year looking very dangerous. Yeah, Kevin, with the Celtics, they were dynamite after the All-Star break. Had the second best record in the Eastern Conference post-All-Star. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication, and now he's able to make them pay. And here is Thomas. Sollinger with a screen for Thomas. Double team on Thomas. Six to shoot. Poked away. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Those abs running. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. You know, one of the big things for the Celtics after the All-Star break was they played smart. I mean, they went from the middle of the pack in terms of turnovers to a team that rarely made mistakes. Of all the guys you want to leave open out on the perimeter, he is the absolute last guy on the lift. Attention to detail. Know your personnel. Now here's Corver. He's got 15. Pass to the Cobra. The feed now to Zephalosha. Pass it to the Cobra. Shot clock at six. Corver with a screen on top. Count that one. 15 points for the Cobra. Yeah, that's a good point about the Celtics and their turnovers. Last year, after the All-Star break, they were fourth in the league in limiting their mistakes. They played well beyond their years down the stretch. Nothing but money for them to start the half. They made all three of their shot attempts. Back to Millsap. Outside for Corver. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. The pass to the Cobra. Here's the three. Another three for Atlanta. And his stroke has been dead on from the outside. I mean, inside, outside. It just doesn't matter. Bradley dishes the lead. Feeds it to Thomas. Kicks it to Crowd. That one falls. Coming off of Thomas' feet. Crowder's got eight. It would be four in a row for him now as they have come racing out of the gate to start the second half. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Outside Corver. Pass to the Cobra. He feeds it to Cephalosha. He passes to the Cobra. Now here's Thomas. He's guarded closely. Dish now to Lee. Wide open. Here's Solinger. The shot is off. Good work defensively by Horford. Hawks have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the hand. Sevalosha passes to the Cobra. He dishes it to Corver. Pass to Sevalosha. Here's the Cobra. Defended by Crowder. Here's the Cobra. That one off the back iron and out. The Zonics have gone 4-6 from the field since the start of the third. And it's Bradley off the drive. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Now it's a four-point Zonic lead. That's their third straight make off an assist. Great ball movement. A 
from the wing quarter. He kicks it to Sethalosha. Passes it to the Cobra. Dishes it to Millsap. Now Bradley. He's got seven. Sollinger with a screen for Brent. Millsap with a double team. The feet to Crowder. Outside for Sollinger. Down to five on the shot clock. Let's it go. And there are the Celtics with another basket. And Atlanta has possession. Six point game. They get to take on the Magic in Orlando after this one. That'll be the second of this two game road trip. And that one's good. No set. Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. This game has been a battle, and maybe they're starting to just run out of gas a little bit. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Tyler Zellers checked in for Jared Sullinger. Patterson comes in for David Lee, and it's Turner in for Jay Crowder. Now here's Turner. He gives a bit of a scoring lift to the team, averaging eight points a game. And it's sent back by Horford. Here's the Cobra. Foul call. Looked like the D didn't get there in time, and he'll shoot free throw. It was a tough battle down the stretch, but the Celtics were able to get back into the playoffs last year. And kind of just hovering around all season, but give them credit. They fought their way in and spent only one year out of the postseason in their rebuild. And he knocks down the first one. And the Hawks making a change here. Splitters checked in. on the second so he makes them both probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line double team on Thomas and it's Turner off the drive back to Thomas and there's the whistle fouled hard on the shot he'll go to the line and guys, as much as Isaiah Thomas can help you on offense, at times he can hurt you on the defensive side. And immediately posted up by whomever he's guarding, you have to give help. And of course, that leaves your defense vulnerable, particularly on the weak side and controlling that defensive backfield. That free throw good from Isaiah Thomas. When you're talking about Isaiah Thomas before, certainly his short stature limits him on Clark the defensive side. Yeah, but you know what? He doesn't rack up a ton of steals given his instincts and quickness. I think he really focuses on making his impact at the offensive end. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Justin Holliday's checked in for Cephalosha. And it's Teague in for the Cobra. the pass to Brent. Feeds it to Olenek. He's against Splitter. And Olenek kicks to Bradley. Pass to Olenek. Rocket six. Shot is no good. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Here's the Cobra. Guarded by Brent. Scott kicks the tee. And the three off target. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. He feeds it to Smart. Takes it to Bradley. And stolen by Splitter. T dishes to Scott. Now Horford's checked in for the Hawks. That one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. The Cobra's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. And Turner kicks to Smart. There's the dish to Olenek. Knocks it loose. Now the Hawks moving it the other way. Holiday guarded by Bradley. Turner against Holiday. And he uses the glass on the layup. 
And now just a five-point Boston lead. Boston's gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Turner against Splitter. Outside Turner. He passes to Smart. Off his foot. And the official saying it was kicked. Paul Millsap is checked in for Atlanta. Tim Hardaway Jr. comes in for Justin Holiday. Out of bounds, Atlanta will take possession. And now look at the point guards who have been taking matters into their own hands this past month. These are the top scorers at their position. And you look at the Cobra leading the league in points per game. Such a great player. And of course, Isaiah Thomas, a little bit down the ladder. Right side, Hardaway. Back to T. Passes it to the Cobra. Millsap left side. He dishes it to T. Another three for Atlanta. Great outside shooting fueling this run. And the D is getting bombarded. They haven't been able to slow them down the least bit. Bradley with the ball. Picked up by T. Turner passes to Olenek. Horford with the block. And with the time left, they still can go two for one. Boy, they've got to do it fast. They must hurry from here. Side Hardaway for the lead. Rebound Boston. They, they have a two for one situation if they go quick. Yeah, I don't think they have to rush though, Greg. Just need to find a good shot this time. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. Astro Olinick. Good on the baseline, Jay. Olinick got his first points of the night. Just no chance for the smaller defender to block that shot. He's really, really good at using his size to free himself up for those mid-range jumps. A master at And T, here we go. One second left, and he hits the jump shot. Teague's got seven points for the quarter. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Austin on top, up two. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next.